Yo, what is up everyone? It's Out of Order and I'm back with another tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be doing something kind of a little bit different, all right? This isn't any of like my normal effects. I'm going to be teaching you how to make like shock waves or impacts. So, yeah, let's get right into this. So, yeah, I've launched up a blank After Effects project and uh, I'm just going to launch up a new composition too. So, there we go. There's our composition. And yeah, let's get started with this. So in order to do this, you're going to need your clip. So I'm just going to grab my clip, the same one that I used in the preview. You can also download these clips too in the description of my last edit. Also, this effect will work on all clips. You don't really need a green screen clip like the one I'm using right here. But yeah, also this effect will look a lot better with black bars. So let's make those right now. And to make black bars, all you got to do is go to layer, new, solid. And then make sure they're black because, you know, black bars and yeah, just plop it down here. And then once you do that, you're just going to want to go to uh, CC Jaws. You're going to want to add this effect here. Uh, make sure the height is at 0% and then make sure this is like, like that, you know, just whatever you want. I usually do 80, so I'm just going to plop it like that. Looks good so far. And the next part, you're going to need shockwaves. There's plenty of shockwaves on the internet. But I'll leave you some shockwaves in the description. So, yeah. And, yeah, you're just going to plop your shockwave into After Effects. I'm just going to be using this one right here. Looks pretty nice. And I'm going to be showing you the newbie way. And the way that you should be doing it. Alright, so this is the newbie way. This is the way that you're not really supposed to be doing it. Basically, you find the part where he shoots. Plop it underneath the impact. Um, you're then gonna need the effect VC color vibrance. Um, just make this whatever color you want. Let's just go like that maybe. And then you're just gonna wanna change the blend mode to screen. And that's the newbie way of doing it. It doesn't look horrible, but people will definitely be able to tell. It's not really, you know, it's a little newbie, but yeah. If you want to do it like that way, it's cool. And let me just plop another one here. So yeah, that's how you do it, you know, the classic way, which is basically just that. But the, the better way of doing it is to, you're going to want to find your shockwave, plop it above all of that, or you can actually have the gut above. It doesn't really matter. I prefer having it above all of it. So you just want to put that there, find the part where he shoots, and then go to where, new adjustment where. Let me just shorten this, you know. And once you do that, you're going to need the effect displacement map. Plop it on there. And then for displacement map, make sure your thing is set to the shockwave up here. Make sure that's selected. You can disable that too. And then make sure this is set to luminance, luminance. And that's the better way of doing it like this. But there's, there's still some settings you got to change. Make sure wrap pixels is enabled. And horizontal displacement, just make that at zero. You don't want any horizontal displacement. Because if you do, you're going to notice this right here. This right here will happen. Clipping will happen. And it's not, you know, that's not really good. So, yeah, just make sure horizontal displacement is at zero. And then for vertical displacement, you can kind of, you know, go crazy on this one. But I notice a lot of people, what they like to do is, let me just serve that. They like to go completely, you know, just like a full, you know, Whatever resolu whatever vertical resolution it is, just set it to that. So if it's 1080 or 1440, mine's 900. And people like doing it like this. And this is totally fine. I just feel like this is like way too much. You know what I'm saying? This is just too strong. So I don't really like doing that. I prefer having black bars and then just going like up a little bit like that maybe. And then just putting the black bars over. Actually, I like to have it negative so the gun's more upwards. But I like doing it like that, putting the black bars over it, and then, you know, it does a simple thing like that. But honestly, I feel like that's too slow. So what I also like to do is just select your wear, control alt T, it'll enable timer mapping. And then I like to just shorten it a little, you know, like that maybe. 
And yeah, that's how you do the shockwave. It's really simple. That's pretty much it. If you think it's too strong, you can just mess around with these settings. Um, I think that looks pretty good. And another thing you're probably wondering is how do I duplicate this for more shots? It's pretty simple. Select it from top to bottom like that. Control C, Control V. Find the second shot. And you might notice that there is no displacement map. So if I disable this one right here, nothing happens. You're probably wondering why is nothing happening. Well, it's really simple. You're just going to go to this right here. And it'll change this. I don't know why it does that when you duplicate it. But it'll change it. And you're just going to select shockwave again. And it should be fixed. So yeah, that's how you do the shockwave effect. It's pretty simple, pretty nice. I really love using this effect. And yeah, that's the end of this tutorial, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And comment down below what tutorial you want to see next. You know, if there's an effect I used in one of my edits, comment down below. I'll make a tutorial for it as soon as possible. And yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. I'm out. Later, dudes.